currently when we see prostate cancer patients, we put them into clinically defined buckets of risk of aggressiveness. So there, there are a couple common uh, classifications. One is the National Comprehensive Cancer Network uh, classification, which looks at the grade of the cancer on biopsy, the PSA, and the stage based on digital rectal exam. And then there's something out of uh, the University of California, San Francisco called the CAPRA score, which adds some other refinements to that. They are uh, a good initial way of stratifying risk and helping decide on treatment. But this other paper, the genomic classifier, shows that when you add genomic information in there, you can further substratify risk. This is really important in the era of PSA screening because we know that most low-grade prostate cancers, which are detected by PSA, actually don't need treatment. And one of the challenges that we have is being absolutely certain about who doesn't need treatment and who doesn't because we don't want to put someone that we don't think needs treatment at risk for an aggressive cancer that was missed. And so the genomic classifier paper, which is driven by Dan Spratt, who's a bright uh, radiation oncologist at the University of Michigan, was again a way of adding genomic information to be able to better risk stratify patients. This is the wave of the future. I don't have any doubt about this.